Hey, how's it going guys? Wonafo here, and today Roblox released an update that forces you to use the newest version of the game, but of course on that newest version there is a buy front anti-cheat which prevents you from exploiting, and I'm going to be showing you right now how you can bypass this in under 5 minutes, and it's actually super easy, all you need is these 3 files right here which are going to be linked down below in the description, so for the first step you might recognize this link from my older videos which I've made a few weeks ago on the new buy front bypasses, so this is the revert link which lets you go down to a previous version of Roblox, all you want to do here is click this button right here that says Roblox UWP, click this one, and once you have it downloaded it's going to show up here in the top right or the bottom left, click it, it's going to open up this little menu right here, all you want to click is reinstall, click that button, click reinstall, and you should be good to go. And once you've done that, you should open up Roblox and see this error right here, which is actually a good thing if you're using this method. So first you should see this. And the next thing you want to install is called Fiddler, and I've already installed this, but when you first get it from the description, it's going to look something like this. It's just an accept or decline. You just want to agree to it. Install, and then just search in your Windows search bar for Fiddler Classic. Open this up. So when you first open up Fiddler, it should look something like this. It might be full screen, it might not be, but it should look something like this. And step one is to go over here to win config, click this, it's going to ask you yes or no, just click yes. And then over here you want to click on exempt all, so just click this button there, it's going to be one step, and then you click save changes. So just click exempt all, click save changes, and then X out of this. The next step is pretty simple as well, all you have to do is click on tools, click on options. So over here on the top, you just want to go a little bit slower so you can keep along. Options, HTTPS, which is the second tab. Click that, and right here you want to like go really slow, pay attention to what I'm saying here. This is the most important step. If you don't do this, your Roblox will just crash every time you open it. So basically you have to click this button right here that says decrypt HTTPS traffic. Boom, really simple. And when you first do this, it's going to ask you for like yes or no. You want to click yes. It's going to ask you if you want to find the root. I'm going to put an image up on the screen here that's going to show you what that looks like. You want to click yes. So basically you just keep on clicking yes and OK until you get back to this page. So you're done with all that. Click on OK. And right now you should see a screen that looks something like this. If you can see this bar right here on the top, you want to click on auto responder. And by default, you're going to see all these things up here unchecked. What you want to do is check enable rules, check unmatched request pass through. Really simple, just these two things right here. And now if you've done everything correctly, all you have to do is close Roblox. So close Roblox from this uh, menu and then click anywhere in this left thing here. Click on right click, remove all sessions. If you didn't catch that. You basically just right click here, remove all sessions. So pretty simple. Do that. This should be completely blank now. What you want to do is click on the Roblox again. You can open up from the Microsoft store from anywhere. I just happen to have Roblox pinned on my taskbar, but I'm going to click this. Again, this has to be through the Microsoft Store. You can't open up Roblox from the website. Open it up. You're going to see this update again. Leave Roblox open. You want to have it open while you're doing this. And here's where you have to really pay attention. So scroll down here in this list until you find something that says mobile API next to roblox.com. I take a little bit of time to find this. Make sure that you don't have any other programs open while you're doing this. I mean, I do have Discord and like OBS, but you want to be like basically empty. And then, yeah, pretty much all you want to do is right click on this one that says mobile API. Click on copy. So again, right click it, copy, just URL. So pretty simple there. Once it's copied, go over here to the right and click on add rule. It should put this right here, which says exact whatever. And actually all you want to do here is delete this part that says exact and then the little colon next to it. So just put your little thing right in front of here and just delete this and delete that little colon. So you should be left with just HTTPS at the beginning. If it looks something like this or exactly like it, then you're completely fine. And if you want to skip this step, you could honestly just come over here and type in exactly what I have written right here. I'm going to have that in the description. And yeah, the next step you want to do is come down here to your desktop. And I will have this code linked in the description as well, but just make a new TXT file. If you don't know how to do that, right click your desktop anywhere in the entire screen, click new, click text document. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to call it testing two. And then in this folder, which will be in the description, there's going to be something in it. This is what you want to put in this folder. It's data. I'm not going to like tell you all this. You can just copy and paste it, but it's a uh, bracket data upgrade action. None. You just want to have all this in here. Click X. Make sure you click save. Should just look like this, completely fine. If you open it, you can check it's all there. Come over here back to Fiddler now with Roblox still open. And you wanna always keep Fiddler open while you're with Roblox, by the way. 
All you have to do here is click this little arrow on the very right of this second line here, which is again in the autoresponder tab. So make sure everything looks like this. Click this arrow, scroll down until you find find a file. Boom, it's gonna open up this thing right here. And then all you have to do now is go over here to your desktop and find the file you just made, which is for me called testing2. So I'm gonna open this up, click open. You could just uh, double click it if you want to. And yeah, once you've done that, the final step is to click save. And once you've clicked save, it should have this thing right here on the bottom. So if you see this right here, you're completely fine. And now if you close Roblox, I'm going to close this menu, reopen it again. And here we go. Boom. I'm right in the game completely fine, just as I was or earlier. And just to prove that this actually does work, I'm going to go in my task manager and show you. So if I go to Roblox now, it says Roblox 32 bit, which means I am on the reverted version, which means I can use exploits. And again, you do not want to close Fiddler when you're doing this, because if you do, Roblox will not work anymore. And if you are having any issues at all, join my Discord server and I'll be happy to help you out in DMs. Yeah, so I'm just going to use VegaX here, which is the final tool I'm going to use in this video. I'll have a link in the description to this. It's one of the only updated executors right now with no keys. Completely free as well. But yeah, I'm just going to attach this exploit, click inject. It should say injected right here. There we go. Now I can minimize this and join up into a game. Let's do Blade Ball which is my personal favorite game right now. Let's go over here to the script hub and look up red circle. Oops, I misspelled that. But yeah, red circle, execute that. Here we go. So now I have the script loaded up and unfortunately the game did not start yet. But as you could probably tell, I am exploiting completely fine. Let me load up the admin commands really quick just to show you. There we go. I can do free cam. I could do day, night. I can make it full bright. Yeah, pretty cool features here. As you guys can see, I'm completely normally exploiting just as I would be normally. So I yeah, hope you guys like this video. Again, if you don't want to go through any of the links in the description, or if you are having any issues at all, just join my Discord server. The link for that is at vegax.gg or discord.gg slash vegax with no spaces. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you can. And as always, peace.